hello youtube this is Vicky Jir and welcome to my channel so in this video what i'm going to show you is how you can download and install mysql or simply mysql on your computer so let's begin just fire up your browser and type mysql or simply mysql this is their official website we just gotta go to the downloads page here drag down and select the community gpl downloads From this page, you just gotta select the first option, MySQL Community Server, and now you you just gotta drag down and select Go to Download Page, and it will take you to this page, and you just gotta drag down and select the uh, this uh, this version. It doesn't matter if you have 64 bit or 32 bit. You, you just gotta select this one. Now just click on Download, and it will take you to this page. It will basically ask you to log in or sign up. You, you just gotta click on no thanks to start my download right away. So it will start downloading the package for you. I have I guess already downloaded the package so I don't need to download again. Uh, after you have finished the downloads, uh, the, go to the downloads folder and just double click on the setup. And it will open the setup for you. Uh, you just gotta wait for a few seconds here. Be patient, be patient. It will take a few seconds depending on the speed of your computer. So, yeah, just click on yes. Yeah, it's gonna launch the setup in about 10 seconds. Okay, so this is the setup and you just gotta accept the license terms, doesn't matter if you read them or not. <laughs> so click on next, you just gotta select the uh, def developer default, next. Uh, click on next, yes. These are the requirements, MySQL needs. I basically does not have I basically don't have Visual Studio or Connector Python but it doesn't matter I don't need to work on these so I'm just just gonna click on next and then I'm gonna select yes now it's ready to install the MySQL server on your computer just click on execute and it will start installing on your computer depending on the speed it will take about five to seven minutes I'm just gonna pause the video and let it finish so it's finished click uh, click on next okay so it needs a bit of configuration here uh, it's a piece of cake just click on next next and this is the port which you will need to connect to your mysql server so just keep it in mind and click on next next again and uh, here you just gotta type a password type a password of your choice it doesn't matter but just remember it for uh, it will be used after uh, in later stages so just click on check after you type the password and then next click on next again and then finally click on execute and it will start applying some configuration to your computer so it's finished now click on finish click on next again uh, we don't need this so just l let it be untick so click on next Ag again next just type the password here you just typed a few seconds ago next and it uh, click on execute and it will start applying some configuration again it will take a few seconds now just click on finished and i guess the setup is complete yes it's completed just click on finish for the last time i swear it's for the last time <laughs> and yeah your mysql workbench is now opened and here you can do 
all the work you gotta do on your databases and this is how you install uh, your mysql on your computer if you have any problems uh, you may ask me in the comment section i will try my best to answer each one of you and if you like my video just comment and subscribe to my channel and in this way you can support me so see you next time